G'day there, guys. So, uh, back with another game to uh, make myself jump and for you to have a laugh. Uh, have been asked to do the video cam a couple times now since I've been doing these scary games, so I'm thinking of getting one, alright? So you can watch my uh, horrid facial expressions when I actually jump. But yeah, for now, you've just got to deal with the uh, squeals of fright from the uh, the microphone. But uh, today we're going to be playing Night Grove. So I'm set up in my little computer dungeon with all the lights off and just the hum of my computer next to me to uh, keep me company while I play through this scary little indie game. So... The information for this on uh, Steam says it's a first-person indie horror game in the walking simulator genre. Nightgrove, a building standing in the deep woods, has had a bad reputation for years. According to the residents of nearby towns, the rest of their days are spent in this hostel by people whom society has long since abandoned. The physically and mentally unhealthy people who inhabit this place are always described differently in each story. The people who visited this place changed radically. They became more withdrawn as if something had shaken them. No one wanted to talk about what they'd seen. Some came back with their psyches shaken. The line between reality and mysticism was blurred. After such notices, the police visited the place several times but found nothing of the sort. The only person they found in the house was a lonely elderly man who was quite cooperative. Alright. <laughs> so, um, yeah. We're going to see how many times I uh, squeal at this game before we get through it. And yeah, let's get into it. I received an unusual order from a place with a very dubious reputation. I couldn't refuse. And that's how I ended up here. Okay. We're in. So we're, uh, seems like we're pizza delivery guys. And, uh, in my opinion, I'd just leave, but, uh, apparently this guy wants to, uh, look around. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Okay, apparently we need to go past the door first. Okay. Nope. I gotta find the customer. That way I can get a better look at the inside of the house. I think that may oh jeez. I think maybe these developers aren't native English speakers, so um let uh and it looks really cool the artwork though. I like that. Uh, let any of the, uh... Any of the maybe not proper English sentences go. Let's be honest, we don't all speak English correctly at all times. I heard footsteps somewhere. Uh, g'day mate. Um, I've got a pizza for someone. Is it yours? Uh, I bought you a pizza. Oh! My 
My head hurts. No shit, I was just whacked in it. Okay. Hey, delivery guy. I'm sorry, my order put you in this trap. The head of the house won't just let you go. That's why I have to help you. Take a look around while I look for options. Security guard Bob. I'll be writing down important information here. Okay. Fuck. Really? Okay, this went from like friggin' 2 to 13 instantly. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Those screams are clearly coming from the basement. It looks like someone had dinner here recently. The cup of tea is still hot and seems untouched. Okay, we've got a key. Can I have a cup of tea? I could use one at this point to relax a little. I would have every knife in this room, in my pockets, in my hands. This is where old mate was that I was dropping the pizza off to when I got thwacked in the head. Locked on the God, I hate that. Why is it so scary when it's dark in these games? You never know what's going to jump out at your face, that's why. <laughs> that's using your imagination. Uh, what are we watching today, guys? Uh, cartoon reruns, 80s greats. Alright, what are we doing here? No, we're not going in there. Alright. No, we tried that. So, R14, oh, that's the one we got the key for. Yep, oh great, oh yep. Gosh, it's like he's just been skinned. Oh yeah, this is great. Oh, that's the eyeball key. What's this? I can't take it anymore. The constant screaming from the basement is driving me crazy. I was recently able to steal the spare key to the surveillance post. I heard someone coming. Now I had hope of salvation. Is he talking about me? Unfortunately, I couldn't help him. About... I'll just close that. Yeah, I know I heard a scream in the basement, but I don't really care. I don't want to go there. The eyeball room's the one back the other way, I think. We'll just double check these while we're over this side. Yeah, nah. I think it's the one all the way back near the start. The weird, like, shaking and stuff that it does. Hmm, I thought the note said this was the room. Close that behind me. Oh. I don't think that's a good idea, but I'll have to check it out. No, you don't. That's where you're wrong, mate. You don't have to go and check that out at all.
Now oh, these people, dude. I would have kicked out a window. I'd be gone. Honestly. Not all doors are open to me, but I know one thing for sure. The head of the house keeps all his secrets in the attic. Good luck with your search. Security guard Bob. It's not clearer, but it's something. Oh, man. All right. So this is where we were. Get fucked. I'm not going in there. No, I'm going to sit here with Mr. Bunny's Worth and I'm going to watch TV. Oh, man. Can you at least give me a flashlight? Yeah, of course I'm meant to walk over to here, aren't I? Yep, okay. Suck my bollocks. What's that? Number 22? Oh, fuck you. Oh, mother <laughs> fucking son of a bitch. Okay. Now, I am not joking, guys, when I say <laughs> that I was jump scared so bad then. That whatever I hit on my keyboard, uh, full closed the game, crashed my recording program, <laughs> and I had to restart the computer to come back on. Phew. I even knew there was something going to happen. I knew something was coming, and it still got me that bad. All right, fuck you. Um, I need your help. I'm going to go to the basement archives to find the house plans. But right now, the basement's blacked out. The electrical room is on the second floor. Security guard, Bob. Uh, okay. we got key number 22. God, I'm glad this... Uh, remembered where I was up to. <laughs> right, we can't go there. I'm just going to check them all on the way past. Okay, this is open now. Cigarettes on the bathtub. Fully relaxing, huh? Okay. The place of my biggest jump scare of my life. Nothing in there now. Locked on the other side. Alright. Oh, suck my ass! Oh. Fuck. So what, does this little shithead follow me round or what? So can I see him coming or anything? Maybe I can see where he is in this. Let's just watch this hallway for a second and see if we see him. Oh, 
I'm assuming he's the house owner. I don't know, it's weird. Maybe we don't see him. Maybe we've just got to sort of try and be quick. Oh. Okay. It's worth checking the diary entries. So he's hanging out in there. I saw some planks in the bathroom that might come in handy. Oh, suck my ass. Is this the same? Yep. Okay, so I meant to take those, righto. Maybe I should board up the door behind the refrigerator in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to try and trap him in there, are we? Ah! Maybe we won't do that then. What did it say? Still says to board it up, huh? Yeah, bitch. Now you're not gonna get me. Fuck you! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh man! I did board it up. Maybe I'm meant to look. Make sure he goes in there. What am I meant to tiptoe then? Okay, I can lean. Oh. 
waiting to see if I see the guy coming or not. I can hear him behind there. here a torch okay hello the keys to 22. Okay, what have we got here? I'm always hungry. The worms in my stomach need food. Celebrated the arrival of three worms today. Oh, jeez, it's probably one digit off the code. That's a... Fuck off. No. I 
Oh, I can crouch. I don't know if that'll help with anything, but... Okay. Okay, electrical panels. Can I mess with any of these? Okay. So did I just turn all the power back on or did I turn power off? Go to door unlock then. Was it this one? Nope. Shit head. Stop breaking all the lights, you little asshole. Oh, at this point, I just want to whoop his ass. Can I come in? <laughs> oh, mother son of a... What did you do? I told you to turn on the lights in the basement only. Now their nap time's been disrupted. Use this laptop. Without it, you won't be able to get into the attic. How was I supposed to know which switch? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh man. Oh great, that looks like a fun place to be. Oh man. Some dickheads watching the telly. Not that I know where the hell that part is. Ruined their fucking nap time.
you bitch. I don't know where I went, I just ran. <laughs> but they come through doors, god damn it. But I have the key to 21. Progression. Everybody despises me. I want to wash away all this dirt. I'm scared to look at myself. I hate myself. You and the number seven. Quasimodo. Okay, that's another number. Not that I remember what the first one was we got, but... Oh, can you imagine if I turned the light on there and there was somebody asleep up there? Saw a key near the TV. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck. My dad often gives me dolls, but in order for me to play with them, he makes me read books. I don't like reading. I like candy, fresh flowers, and the number five. Gertrude. scream in the basement okay yeah I know that planks Or a music box in the room with the fireplace. Oh, Christ. Yeah, this is really clever. Please hurry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, give me a key, give me something. Alright, what you got for me? Spit something out I can use, come on.
Whoop. Number 20. Number 24. Oh, we can go into 25 directly. Nice. All right. What have we got in here? Nothing. Okay. So I'm assuming this game is kind of like one where you're meant to like listen out, listen for footsteps and hide in rooms. Okay, that's that. Oh. This is the bathroom we ran to. This is the telly room. Twenty. All right, what have we got here? That rustling noise keeps me awake. I can't sleep with those rats scraping their paws on the floor. Every day I exterminate them, but I've never been able to find their lair. My record is a whopping eight of them. I love the way their heads crunch. Oh, jeez. Code 3578. Okay. What are you reading, mate? Death cord. Oh, can I take that? They drawn on the tissues? Oh. What's that? Oh, really? I forget what the friggin' number was. Three, five, seven, eight. Three, five, seven, eight. All right, there we go. Oh, what have we got here? I can't quite make that out. Am I meant to be able to read that? Is this people they've taken out or something? Oh, is this the family? So that's the guys that live there. I can't read that guys, I'm not sure if it's a thing, but I'll leave it there if you can zoom in or something, maybe you can look. So is this people that have been here and they've knocked them off? Is that the family? Because that's the family that's here now, right? That's what they look like. Oh, here we go. Can't look at these ones though. Oh, no, that's it. Got to make our way back down now.
Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god! Really? Okay. That's always fun. Great. Okay. Time mustn't stop. We must fix the clock. Slowly, quickly, time. It's a creepy room, like it's occupant. Oh my god. See if we see anything at all. need to get into the attic. I was already in the attic. Oh. The aliens I collect are all going in the cabinet. I was going to close the door in time.
Oh. Well, this isn't how it was before. Oh, man. It's been busy. Oh shit. God damn it. Think I should wait for it to pass. Okay, got some bolt cutters. Oh, yeah, because I stopped at the other one before. Okay, okay, okay. I got this.
What is this? Experiment 28. Subject Kenny. Intelligence level has been temporarily increased. Use immediately after withdrawal causes side effects. Father Bob. Oh. Okay. Okay. So what? What the hell just happened? Are we experiment number 28? Not sure what just happened. Okay. A room on the second floor locked with chains. Trying to remember where that one was. There it is right there. Oh. where I just heard someone out there. Jeez. Okay. Oh. Oh. What is going on?
Oh, we're experiment 29. Right. So all of that was just to see how we would handle... Oh, no. That was terrible. Like, it was a good game. Very, very creepy. Obviously, I've friggin' shut down my whole computer from the jump scares, but... Yeah, that would be a horrible experience, I should say. <laughs> let me know what you think down in the comments, and uh, let me know if you'll uh, check out their game or any of their other games. I thought it was good. It was a good game. It looks really good, and it was really creepy. That was what I was after, so... Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you later.